What's up guys? I'm going to start a small how-to video. I'm going to try to keep this short and sweet because I know a lot of you guys don't want all the technical aspects, but I'm just going to make sure that I throw in everything that that I think is pertinent for you guys to get the same sound that I have. Um, and, and in some cases, it's not necessarily about the sound. It's just the readiness. And here's a good example. Right now, go ahead and change your snap settings when you first open Mixcraft to 164th notes. That'll help for when you're editing and cutting and splicing your lyrics especially when you're doing uh some people call it a dub over some people call it punching in i call it punching in so it'll come in handy for that so set that to 164th notes i set audio tracks to 12 that way later on i don't have to go and add a bunch if i'm recording a lengthy song where i have to punch in a lot so you can set that to however many you want but i set mine to default at 12 just so i always have plenty of room on my canvas to work with here so you're going to go ahead and click OK, and of course Mixcraft is going to open. Now what I'm going to do here is I've got that Gucci Gang instrumental just lying around on my desktop. Uh, actually, I've been using it for uh, some Omega raps that I've been doing. I've been rapping for people online, and it's kind of actually gotten my follower count up by being able to rap pretty good on there. So what you're going to do, once you've got your beat loaded here, you're going to arm your second track here. I have this track set entirely too loud here, so forgive me for that. That shouldn't be there, so I'm going to set that about equal with everybody else. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start this beat up. Um, I know the beat starts right about here. I'm going to end up clicking record. I'm going to wrap part of my verse and then just follow along with what I do with it. I'm going to break it all down into details, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and maximize this screen so you can just see only what I'm doing. So, all right, bear with me here. What you know about the way that I feel? I've been aiming to build up my name in the guild. Fuck fame and appeal and a pain with appeal. Two chains with a deal ain't a thing that I feel. They say I'm so chill I can hang with a P.O. I ain't even been in trouble. I'ma say it ain't real. Oh, you from the... All right, so immediately after my recording, I always get silent. First thing I'm going to do, you're going to see me copy and paste that exact verse that you just saw me record. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to come down below. I am going to align it the best I can at the moment. And now I'm going to highlight this entire verse. And you want to zoom in as close as possible. And you see right here, I'm actually not aligned. So I am going to align these right there. Now, if I play this back right now, and you want to get rid of all this silence here at the beginning as well. If I play this back right now out loud, the vocals will be really, really, really loud. And you don't want that. So here's how I fix that. You're going to right click the second track right on the actual vocal portion and you're going to go to envelopes immediately you're going to reduce it 50 percent you are then going to right click and go to envelopes and you are now going to reduce it 25 percent now you're going to click one more time and you're going to reduce it and here's where it gets tricky if i was extra loud on the track which i feel like i was I'm going to go ahead and make that a minus 10%, but if I had been kind of quiet, I probably would have only taken it down 5% on the last part. So now what I've got here is if I play it back, and I know you guys can hear this. What you know about the way that I feel? I've been I sound clean. I sound full. I sound like there was plenty of volume in my voice. I didn't. I sound bassy enough, I think. So... What I'm going to do now is I'm going to change the effects on my voice. And I already have some presets. You're going to see me go here to effects. And you're going to see that I have an Austin Mastering 1. This is what I like to use. I know you guys don't have this, but I'm going to show you exactly what to set your settings at so that you have the exact same effects. So under Austin Mastering 1, when I click this, you see I've got Acoustica Compressor set to Vocal in your face. I just click that. I don't go in here and edit. I don't change any of that. So you should just have, oops, 
You should just have Acoustica compressor set to vocal in your face. Then you should have Classic compressor set to pre-mastering. Poltronic 2 BQ set to HF Vitalizer. And then EZQ Equalizer. Now here's what I do edit. When I change my vocals, I click on edit and I move the ball to here. It's normally dead center. Because of the room that I'm in, sliding the ball to this location is perfect for me. But what you're going to want to do at home is your, your room doesn't feel or sound exactly like mine, and I'm sure of that. So what you're going to want to do here is go ahead and slide your ball around while the track's playing. You can come down here. You can click on your Mixcraft. You can click play. What you know about and the way that I feel? I've been aiming to build up my name and a guild. Fuck fame and appeal and a pain with appeal. To your change with a deal ain't a thing that I feel. They say I'm so sound. And that's how I found my sound. So now, those are the three settings. Classic compressor, pre-mastering, or I'm sorry. These are all of the settings. Acoustica compressor, vocal in your face. Classic compressor, pre-mastering. Poltronic 2 BQ set to HF vitalizer. And Easy Q equalizer set to wherever you need the ball set to. That is all I do to my vocals. But I do that also to my second quieter track that I use to thicken my voice. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to click Austin Mastering 1. Now what you can do to get this same setting is once you plug in all these compressors and the Pultronic QBQ and the EZQ Equalizer, what you can do is you can come up here and rename it. Give it a name. Type in anything you want. I'll do this. YouTuber. And now you can click Save right here. Oh, I'm sorry. Apparently you have to click Save and then you can change the name. It's been a while since I've had to do that. But save it as whatever you want. And then from now on, after you've made a recording, just come in here, click effects, and look for the setting that you named. It would be somewhere in this list. And as you can see, I have an Austin Mastering 1. Mastering 2 was one that I did for, like, vocal singers. And I don't think it sounds that good. I'm not going to demonstrate that to you guys today. And then... I'll get down to the Austin Mastering Final right after this. So so what I've done, you see I've copy and pasted my verse. We've lowered it by the envelopes. We've set our effects. So now what we want to do normally is you want to save it, give it a title. I'm going to call it YouTuber. Once it's saved, it will now allow you to mix it down to an MP3. We're going to call this track YouTuber Video. And you're just going to click Save. Okay, down here, you'll see a loading bar. It's taking a while. Once this is done loading, uh, your track is going to pop up and start playing. And you can either listen to it and see what you think of it, or I like to close it out because I already know it's not the settings that I want. I'm not completely finished with it yet. So down about the 164th notes we were talking about earlier, what I meant about that was... In the moments where I'm adjusting the vocals to align them here, if you notice, if I put them to half notes, they jump a lot. If I'm trying to move just a tiny amount, boom, they jump a whole lot. You see that? So it's really difficult to line your vocals up. So I'm going to close out of this. Obviously, uh, I don't need this anymore. I've just made an MP3. Uh, I don't want to save any of the changes where I just showed you guys moving around the second vocal track. So, no. Okay, so we're going to open another Mixcraft. Blank Canvas. I'm going to say OK here. Kind of minimize here. So we're going to grab the MP3 that we just mixed down. We're going to place it in this track. I usually scroll it down small, make sure it's aligned all the way to the left. I'm going to go to effects. I have another effect here and it is Austin Master Final. And as you can see, all I have here is a classic compressor set to pre-mastering. That is all I do with that part of the track. So I'm going to come here to mix down. I'm going to choose MP3. I'm not going to save this one. I'm you guys at home probably want to, but since I'm not saving this for myself and you guys would be in this case, you'll want to keep a copy of that. So you would want to do file, save as first. So now I'm not going to save that. So I'm going to name my 
mix down of this mp3 so I'm gonna call it youtuber video mastered and now I'm going to click save you're gonna see the bar loading here and you should have the track pop up and it should begin playing